hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c cubed divided by c square is equals to 1 and here we find uh, all the roots or all the solutions of this equation so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the first method and in the first method here we move the c square to the right hand side you see that c square is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 1 so c square times 1 is equals to c square and further in the next step we need to move the c square into the left hand side and it will become c cubed minus c square is equals to zero and uh, further in the next step uh, here you see that uh, both of these values involve c square so that we need to take common c square from here so when we take common c square we get the remaining values r so from here we get c only minus from here we get 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now further we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c square is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 1 is equals to 0 and uh, further in the next step uh, here first we need to focus on this case and here we get the value of c for this we need to take a square root on both of the sides so when we take square root on both of the side you see here this two and this square root are gone and we get our c is equals to this is the square root of zero and square root of zero is equals to c so this is the value of c and further here so from this case we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side and we easily get the value of c is equals to 1. So you see here in the first method we get there are two roots of the given equation the one is c is equals to 0 and the second is c is equals to 1. And now here in the next steps we need to verify that is uh, both of these two roots are solution of this equation or both of these two roots are extraneous root. Uh, so for the verification of roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is c cubed divided by c square is equals to 1 and uh, in this side we will be verify c is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 1 so here first we need uh, to focus on uh, this root and now we substitute c is equals to 0 into the left hand side and after substituting this our left hand side is written as 0 cubed divided by 0 square is equals to 1 and we know that 0 cubed is equals to 0 and 0 square is also equals to 0 and this whole equation is equals to 1 and now here in the next step uh, you see that um, this is the 0 over 0 form and usually we will call 0 over 0 form be the uh, indeterminate form so if this is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is uh, undefined form okay so if this is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal then we conclude about c is equals to 0 is that c is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given question okay so this is the extraneous root uh, and now here in the next step uh, we uh, focus into the second root and here when we substitute this value of c into the given question statement it will becomes 1 cubed divided by 1 is equals to 1 1 square okay so here 1 cubed becomes 1 and 1 square is also 1 is equals to 1 and here you see that 1 is equals to 1 so this clearly show that the value of c is equals to 1 is satisfied over this given question statement 
so uh, it means that the solution set of this question is that we have only one solution of this question and that is c is equals to 1 so c is equals to 0 be the extraneous root and c is equals to 1 be the solution of this question and further in the next step we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is c cubed divided by c squared is equals to 1 so this is the our given question statement so in the second method we uh, just give you a nice uh, smart technique in which you can easily get the values of c so here we use the nice uh, exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m minus n so according to this uh, exponential law we need to move the exponent 2 to the upside and it will become c to the power of 3 minus 2 is equals to 1 and here we easily get the value of c is equals to 1 so here in the second method we get only one root of the given equation and that is c is equals to 1 so c is equals to 1 uh, be the only solution of this question because in the first method we already verify that the value of c is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement so c is equals to 1 be the only solution of this question and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos